Hello, hello! Welcome to another quick tutorial from GameTextures.com. My name is Tanner. I'm going to be here with you today teaching you how to import a GameTextures.com material into Octane Render. If you don't know what Octane Render is, Octane Render is this beautiful standalone software created by this company called Otoy. And what it is is an extremely fast and powerful 3D renderer. You can use it for a bunch of things, but I tend to use it mostly just for material previews. But, you know, people are using Octane for all kinds of stuff. And recently they announced that they had Octane Render inside of Unreal Engine and inside of Unity, which is interesting. So uh, be sure to go check Octane out at www.otoy.com. One thing that's nice about it is just the insane speed of updating. Like, you can iterate so fast inside of here. You can see that every time I move the camera, it starts to re-render. And that speed gives you extreme power as, a, as an artist. So the material we're going to be rendering today is this really nice uh, ceramic heat tiles material from GameTextures.com. You can see that it's, it's, it's kind of an interesting material. We have some nice grunge, some nice normal maps. It's, uh, it's pretty basic, but it'll be, it'll be really nice to set up inside of Octane so I can just show you how powerful and how easy this is. Okay. First thing you need to know about Octane Render is that it uses the PBR Metallic rendering system. So what you're going to want to do from Game Textures is go to GameTextures.com and make sure that whatever material you're trying to use inside of Octane is the PBR Metallic, or you can download our substances. Let's get started with this real quick. Uh, the very first thing, the, the, the kind folks and our partners over to Lake Rhythmic have created this uh, PBR substance base material, which is just a perfect starting point for our purposes. So to get this, uh, go from c the scene outlier here on the left, click Live Database, Live DB, and scroll all the way down to Substance PBR. Now, for some reason, there's a bunch of them here. I'm not sure why. Uh, I choose to use the one that was submitted by LA Rhythmic. I think they're all the same, though. I opened up a few of them, and I didn't see any major differences. So grab that node and drag it right into your graph. Really easy. First thing you need to do is just start plugging it in. So I'm going to plug it into my geometry nodes here. Click car paint. Nice. Now that we have it plugged in, the substance PBR node plugged in properly, we're going to start plugging in all of our texture types. So I have a folder here that has all of them. Let's start at the top. Click metallic. Uh, since this is a, I'm not actually sure what this material is, so I'm going to play it safe and plug in our metallic image. If if you know for sure your entire material is 100% metal or 100% dielectric, meaning non-metal, you can just use the slider. Zero equals zero metal, one equals fully metal. Uh, in this case, I'm using a material I'm not totally sure what it has, so I'm just going to plug in our metallic map from our website. Go move right along down to base color. Select the node type. I'm going to use RGB image. Base color. Nice. Roughness. Look at our roughness map. Grayscale image this time, because roughness maps are always grayscale. Select our roughness map. Normal map. RGB image. Select our normal map. All right, normal map's there. And you can ignore F, uh, the F0 for now. This is just how you control how the specular level of the material. So if you want more or less, you can slide it up and down. But I tend to just leave it at 0.25. That's, that's a good start point for us. Now that we have all of these things plugged in, that was super easy, right? I'm going to come in here and just make sure everything is looking good. No, I'm not actually sure our normal map is plugged in properly. Let me check this out. Double click the substance PBR node, open it up and see, yes, the normal map is not plugged in for some reason. Plug that into the dielectric material. Let's plug it into the metal material. There you go. Now we can see our normal map is properly plugged in. That's pretty much it. That's that's how you uh, set up a GameTextures.com material inside of Octane Render. Super easy. Only takes a heartbeat, really, and the speed of rendering is insane. Uh, 
it's one of my favorites for visualizing what our stuff is going to look like offline and there's no reason not to use it. It's actually pretty affordable as a software. So if you're curious about messing around with gametextures.com materials in an offline render uh, setting, check out Octane. It's, it's super powerful and really easy to use. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the comments if you have any feedback, comments, or you want to see us do something else inside of Octane or build a tutorial for a different software completely. We're happy to help and we're always keeping an eye out. So thanks for watching again and uh, happy texturing.